Hi, we're going to talk about solving equations with variables on both sides of the equation. Let's start with a relatively simple problem. 3x plus 7 equals 12x minus 4. That has 3x and 12x with the largest coefficient being 12. So we're going to get all the x's on the 12x side and all the constants, the non-x terms, on the other side. So we subtract 3x from both sides to get that 3x away from the left side. And then similarly, we add 4 to both sides to get all the constants on the left side. That undoes the 3x's and undoes the 4's and gives us 11 equals 9x. And now all we need to do is divide both sides by 9 and get 11 over 9 equals 9x over 9. Cancel out the 9's and you get 11 over 9 equals x. And that's it. Now let's look at a more complicated problem with distributive property. If you forgot how to do distributive property, make sure you look at the video on that. We're going to distribute 3 times 2x and 3 times 8 on the left side and 4 times 3x and 4 times negative 2 on the right side. That gives us 6x plus 24, which equals 12x minus 8. Now we need to get all the x's on one side and all the constant on the other side. 12x is greater coefficient than 6x, so we're going to put everything on the right side again this time. And then we're going to put the constants on the left side. Subtract 6x from the left side, so we also have to subtract 6x from the right side. And now we're going to add 8 to the right side to get it rid of the uh, constant, and then we're going to add 8 to the left side as well. So we need to add 8 to both sides and subtract 6x from both sides. That undoes the 6x on the left, undoes the 8 on the right, and gives us 32 is equal to 6x. Now we just need to divide both sides by 6 and have our simple problem where 32 over 6 is equal to 6x over 6. The 6s cancel out each other. We get 32 over 6 is equal to x, which simplifies to 16 over 3, which equals x. Don't forget to simplify. 16 over 3 equals x. And then we're done. Now let's look at a problem with a distributive property that has a kind of twist to it. We've got 6 times 4x plus 6 times 2 is equal to 3 times 8x minus 3 times 5. And so that gives us 6 times 4x, which is 24x plus 6 times 2 is 12, and then 3 times 8 is 24x, and 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. Now we need to get rid of 24x from both sides, and so we subtract 24x from the left side, and we subtract 24x from the right side, and similarly, we're going to add 15 to both sides because we're trying to get all the constants on one side and all the x's on the other. So we add 15 to the left side, we need to add 15 to the right side. Well, the 24x and the minus 24x cancel each other out, and you'll notice that there's another place where 24x and negative 24x cancel each other out. We're not going to cross that out quite yet. We're going to subtract 15 and add 15. That gives us 0 over there, so those undo each other. 12 plus 15 is 27, and 24x minus 24x is 0. Now, there is no way this can ever be true. So we say there is no solution. So if you ever get something that can never be true, we say there is no solution. This time, let's look at another special situation with distributive property. We've got 3 times 2x plus 4 and 2 times 3x plus 6. This one's a real special one. We've got 3 times 2x is 6x plus 3 times 4, which is 12. So that gives us 6x plus 12. And on the other side, we also get 6x plus 12. You'll notice that these two are the same, which means they are always true. Now, we can still simplify it a little bit more if we wanted to, but we can stop any time that we notice that it's the same on both sides of the equal sign. So here to simplify it, we just need to take away 6x from both sides and take away 12 from both sides. And so we then undo that and we get 0 on the left, which is equal to 0 on the right, which is always true. 
So we say there are an infinite solution. Since it's always true, we say there are infinite solutions.